Conversation Association of Equipping Individuals. But uh, the power of creation starts with a conversation, a conversation in your own mind. One of the reasons why community is so impactful and important for now and the long term is because you get hanging around with a whole bunch of really great people. The conversations you have with those people are different than the conversations you have with your family around uh, you know, Thanksgiving dinner. They're different than you have with your employees, your, your other coworkers around the water cooler. They're different than you know, the folks that you're sitting next to at a football game. Those conversations transform the thoughts that you have, which eventually lead to a powerful outcome. From conversation, whatever we talk about, whatever conversation we've got going on in our mind or with other individuals, has a tendency to evoke a certain emotion. And that emotion resonates inside of us at a cellular level. It anchors a belief, right? It anchors a belief. And once a new belief has been formed or a past belief has been anchored, then all of a sudden amazing things happen because we start acting differently. Don't we? I mean, we start acting differently. And once we start acting differently, the results that show up in our life um, are different as well. That's the power of creation, and it's the power of association. Years ago, I had the opportunity to uh, travel around the, the world and do some fun stuff uh, with uh, Bob Proctor and Mark Victor Hansen. Um, yeah, and Proctor is such a, a great, yeah, such a, a, a great personal development coach, trainer, and so forth. Mark Victor Hansen, I mean, he's the co-author of all the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. I mean, he's got over 200 million of them out there, right? He and Jack Canfield. But the guy has done so much. I mean, he is just full contact life. We're sitting in Acapulco, Mexico, and uh, we are at dinner watching the famous Acapulco cliff divers. If you've ever seen their performance, I mean, they come off the side of the cliff 110 feet and they jump down into literally hardly anything. I mean, they actually have the light newspaper on fire because it's a, a night show. They light it on fire so that they can see that when the smoke and the fire blows back in, that means the tide's in and they can jump. If it's out, then that means the tide's out and uh -oh. they shouldn't jump. Uh -oh. <laughs> Even when the tide's in, they're only jumping into, from 110 feet, they're only jumping into about 11 feet of water. That's it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nuts. When the tide's out, it's about three feet. Miss the timing, show's over. <laughs> yeah. But we're sitting there and we're having dinner, and I remember having a conversation. I was just a young budding entrepreneur, and, and uh, you know, it's those terms. You know. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so Mark said that. He says you need to add a billionaire to your list every single year. And that was the challenge that he gave me. You know, unfortunately, I've got some mind-blowing associations with incredible people. And every time I get around with them, they start telling me about what they're doing in the world. It makes me want to do more. I mean, it really does. <clears throat> so, this is the power of creation, and it all starts with that conversation, which builds from the associations and the relationships that you have. And that's another reason why an inside the Renata's community is so valuable for you to stay plugged in. Because you never know, somebody's gonna say one thing, that is going to cause a completely different trajectory shift in your life. Now, with that said, it goes back to the wealth cycle. You know, learn to invest, share your success, and, and you know that generates more income. And with that money from your business, you can do more real estate deals as well. So never take that lightly. Now, there are four money-making activities that we have in Renata. Here they are. See the people. See the people is all about lead generation, contacting, and inviting. That's where it starts. Lead generation, contacting, and buying. Tell a story. We learned to tell a story at the Epic presentation every Wednesday or Thursday night. As your leaders are doing it from the front of the room, by day you need to be sitting there taking notes and learning it for yourself. Because you learn the story so you can share it. And the next thing is you build for events. See, we're not one of these seminar companies. I get irritated with their business plans and their marketing models. There's so many seminar companies that are out there and they, they sell everybody into, you know, come on down to our free two-hour preview we're going to teach you everything you need to know about real estate, right? And then folks come down to the two-hour preview and then you know what happens? 
It's two hours of your life sucks and it will never change unless you pay us a lot of money. <laughs> And then they sell you into their three-day event, right? And then their three-day event, they sell you into their, their $20,000, dollars $70,000 programs. I mean, I'm just dumbfounded by some of the stuff that goes on out there, right? In Renatus, I mean, we, we just turn the industry on its ear with as much value as we give, as much education, as much support as we've got. So by building from one event to the next, it gives people a level of comfort. See, I don't want to force people into making a decision. I don't want to twist somebody's arm, right? I want them to get enough information that they can make an intelligent, informed decision. But what you will find is this. In this business, building for events is critically important as follow-up is. Because you want to make sure that you are booking a meeting for a meeting, getting that person to the next event, following up with them, getting them to the next event, so that if you can take all of those events and those follow-ups and compress those into a shorter timeline, your conversion rates are much higher. Mm -hmm. If you stretch it out over three or four or five months, all the warm, fuzzy feelings that they had about Renatus at this event are completely dis you know, dissipated and gone by the time they get to the next event. And we want that emotion to continue to rise. So whatever you do, compress the timeline. That's the reason why when we do a Thursday night meeting, we are immediately you know, booking them to either a Friday morning, a Saturday, or latest, a Monday night follow-up. Because we want to book them to that next meeting. And even at the follow-up, if they go, ah, you know what, just not ready to make a decision, it's like, great, well then we follow up with you on Wednesday. Let's sit down and we'll go to the compensation plan and I'll answer some more questions for you. And then if they go, well, oh, Wednesday, great. When they come to the Thursday night presentation, you need to see it again. I need to introduce you to some other people in the community so you can see the results that they're getting. See, I'm always about building from one event to the next. And then there comes a point in time where you just got to say, um, is there any reason why you wouldn't want to get started today? You know? I mean, let's, let's talk about you getting, you know, moving your business. We'll talk about that, too. But it's the four money-making activities that make all the difference in the world. Now, here's, here's a little flow chart, okay? This is what happens. First of all, generate leads.